What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here today to record an attempt at a spring capsule wardrobe. I was actually inspired by a lot of fashion blog accounts that kind of do this. One specifically, and I'll put her name on the screen, is Cotton Stem. She has a spring capsule wardrobe that she did all from Old Navy. She went and bought all new clothes. And I was just so inspired that she had these, I think she picked five outfits that she was gonna wear just for the spring every day. It's her lifestyle outfits, it's her go-to. She feels really comfortable and confident in them. She doesn't have to think, she just puts one of them on. They're cute and I was just like, man, that's awesome because then she doesn't have to have all that other clutter in her life that messes with her head when she's trying to get ready for the day. She just puts on one of those outfits, feels amazing, it's comfortable, it's cute and fashionable. So. That's what I'm going for today. I have been doing some cleansing of the soul and I just feel like I have too much stuff. And I just kinda wanna get rid of having so much stuff and just really have some staples in my life that I really love and that's all I need and not feel like I need to keep buying, buying, buying. So I just wanna live more of a minimal life and simplify everything just a tad bit because I think that sometimes we can reach for things instead of reaching for love and hope and compassion and faith and all that kind of stuff that is actually gonna mean so much more in our life than all this stuff. So this is gonna be fun to record for you guys. I actually like a month ago did a like cleansing of my closet where I just got out everything that I like for sure never wear, don't like anymore, yada yada yada, old, and I gave those to charity. So what I have right now honestly isn't near as much as I have had in the past, which is sad to look at, but I, I know these things I'm a little bit more tied to, so this is gonna be even harder. So basically what I'm gonna do first step is I'm going to sort them out into three different categories. One is gonna be for sure keeps, two is gonna be maybes, I haven't decided yet, I'm struggling, and three is gonna be get rid of for sure. And the and the pile that I'm going to get rid of, we are gonna do a yard sale in May here and actually try to get rid of a bunch of the stuff in our house that we just don't need, but it is still worth some good money or we just haven't used it or worn it very much. So that's the game plan, that's what we're doing. I'm so excited to do this today I was planning on or originally I was like you know what I'll just go buy some stuff and I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna wear and I was like why am I buying more stuff that's the whole point of this decluttering and getting rid of and everything so I decided to just try to make a capsule wardrobe out of what I have and if I feel like there's a missing piece that would make an outfit more comfortable and me feel more confident in it then after the fact I will go find a way to purchase that outfit for a reasonable price what I did pick up from Old Navy though, and they're super reasonable because their dresses were 50% off, was this little springy dress that I thought I could use for one of my six outfits that I'm gonna make for the capsule wardrobe. And then I have a pair of black jeans, but I don't love wearing them all the time just because I don't like where all the cuts are on them and they're just not super comfortable and I wanted a pair of jeans that were more comfortable that I would be more likely to wear more often. So I picked up these Rockstar 24-7 jeans from Old Navy. They were like on sale as well for like 20 something dollars, really cheap. They're super stretchy. They feel like leggings on, but they look like jeans on, so they're like a jegging. And I really love them on because I love the length of them, and they're high-waisted, and I will show you guys those on. So I thought this would be another staple for one of my six outfits that I'm doing for the Castle Wardrobe. All right, let's get started on making these piles. Let me show you my closet and what we're working with. We're doing shoes and everything. We're doing the full, the full shebang, so let's get to it. Okay, so don't judge us because our closet is crazy. And yes, those are my shoes. All of those and those and those and those are my shoes. But this is just sports bras and stuff. And I had it organized, but it's not really now because this is stuff that I just cleaned. But this is what I'm working with. So it's not a ton, as you can see, but it's still too much. This is obviously way more than six outfits for the spring. <laughs> and then this, you all, I think Derek needs to record, but maybe the, if you all want a male capsule wardrobe, how to help your husbands, then comment down below or like this video because we can work on that. But this is unnecessary, absolutely unnecessary. And look at all these chucks. But the thing is like, okay, these I've had since sixth grade. I did the math, that is literally like, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, f almost 15 years I've had those. How do you get rid of something you've worn for almost 15 years? Do you know what I mean? And I have a ton more. And then these are like spring sandals and boots and shoes. So we've got some work to do. We love hats. That's sad too. Like we don't wear all those. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Bye bye clean room. Oh boy. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> This is gonna be keep. Also, really quick, if you guys, so this is gonna be like a lifestyle wardrobe, capsule wardrobe of all my like lifestyle clothes. But if you guys really like how I do this and it turns out good and everything and you want me to do a fitness wear one as well, so it'd be kind of cool to have like six solid lifestyle outfits and then another six or seven for the week of workout outfits that I just love. So maybe we can do that next. Give this a like or and comment down below because I want to know if that's something you would be interested in for a future video. All right, let's keep going. This is gonna be maybes. This is gonna be get rid of. Okay, so this is what we got. We've got for sure get rid ofs going into the garage sale. This is the keeps for sure. This is what I'm gonna try to make my six outfits out of. It looks like I may have to make some decisions. These are the pants that I want to keep and potential shorts. And this is the maybes. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through this and decide what's like winter and fall only and kind of put those away for when I do a winter and fall um, capsule wardrobe next. So I don't want to completely get rid of those because I don't feel like thinking about winter and fall right now. My mind is on spring. So this is like all the spring stuff I'm getting rid of or just stuff I know I don't want anymore keeps for the spring doesn't it look springy and then jeans and i'm gonna go through this and sort out what's winter to put away for right now my plan for the shoes is i'm gonna get together the six outfits that i love and then put shoes together with them and then i'll go through the leftover shoes that i don't have for the capsule capiche let's get to it Oh, I forgot I had this dress too. I haven't tried it on. This is way harder than I thought. Are you gonna attempt one? This dress? Yeah, possibly, but uh, <laughs> that's a mess. This is $9.99 though, and that's really cute. Price doesn't matter in a capsule wardrobe. True. This would be cute with that jean jacket though too. Oh guys, so basically I had I got rid I put away winter stuff that I just don't want to mess with, but this is the spring stuff that I couldn't decide on. There's like maybe 20 things here. I'm just gonna put this stuff away and if I don't use it at all, then I know I don't need it anymore. So I'm just gonna hide it from myself for a little bit after this. But I have to make six outfits and I'm two in and I'm struggling. Oh, it. I now want to do a jogger's outfit, like a really last athleisure outfit for sure. I got some good, good joggers too. Are you young enough to wear joggers? Are you? <laughs> I don't think joggers will be in my capsule wardrobe. Maybe I'll do one with joggers only. These joggers. Ooh, that's cute. You're going to do a capsule wardrobe for everything only so that you still have a ton of clothes. Sun's out, ankles out? No. <laughs> I don't think anything rhymes with ankles. Be a good uh, King's rhyme word. Ankles. Alright, I'll let you all know what outfits I choose after I go sort through this. 
but. Oh, and then this is what we've got in the closet. So this is just sports bras that I keep hung up. I have a lot of sports bras, and I'm going to go through those maybe when I do the next capsule. These are just like good, good old Kentucky t-shirts that I would like to keep hung for like workouts or just to wear with like some jeans or joggers. So I'm going to keep those right there. They're just four of them. Um, and then I am keeping my like really nice there's just a couple things here really nice like long dressy stuff to wear to weddings or a funeral or like a really nice vacation dinner i don't know something like that that i just know i don't want to get rid of completely because i spent good money on them and they're like staple really nice pieces that i don't wear a lot i haven't made it to the shoes yet okay guys i think i've made my six outfits that was really hard this is one i'm gonna try them all on so don't you fret. Two, three, probably my favorite. Four, comfy, athleisure. Five, just like an everyday cute outfit. And this is what I don't know yet. This is a romper on me. I've never tried it on, so I wanna make sure I love it. So that's six outfits. Okay guys, I already had to make a change on outfit number one. I originally had this little top, which is so cute. But it's kind of fluffy and I didn't think, I think I would get sick of it and I was, I gotta think more staples. So I went with this little tank. It's long in the back and shorter in the front with my cardigan and these, I love these shoes so much. They're from Target, these little sandals. And I just thought this is more of a staple that I would wear a lot. I love these jeans too. These jeans are from American Eagle. They're super high waisted. They're really stretchy, they're really comfortable. I love them. So this is outfit number one. And then you can take the little cardigan off and just have this little flowy tank and jeans and sandals too. And a lot of the other shoes that I picked for the capsule will go really cute with this, like some Chucks or my a little Adidas tennis shoes or even like, what other shoes? Even like those little sandals over there. Honestly, all of them would go cute with it. So yeah, this is outfit number one. Okay, outfit two, I love. I got this dress for like 15 bucks from Old Navy the other day. This long cardigan, I can't remember. I think I got it from Target last year. Just like a really thin, long cardigan. These little shoes that I had, they have like a little heel on them. And I just love this a lot. I thought like with a little brown purse or something that's really cute, I have like a little brown wallet but super cute. And then when it gets hot, you can just take off this cardigan. It's like a another little outfit kinda. So this is the dress without the cardigan. I love this dress, you all. It's like the perfect length. It's modest, it's flattering. I can wear it to church or just wear, I mean, it's comfy. I can wear it out for the day. I was thinking to like dress it down and not have any little heels, I could wear it with these little loafers. Mm, how cute would that be? Just like the dress and the loafers, that would be another little outfit. I love it, so cute. Outfit number two. Okay, this is outfit number Trace. I love it. So this jacket was, I think like $24.99 from TJ Maxx. It's really cute. It's got like some cutouts in the back. It's loose, it's really, really comfortable. It is like an absolute staple. I love it, it can go over a lot of things. I was even thinking over that little yellow dress that I had just tried on, it'd be really cute. And then under here, this is from Free People. I did splurge on this one a little bit. I think it was around $45 and I love it, you guys. It is like the softest basic white tee. I had been wanting to splurge on a nice basic white tee for a long time, so I did. And then these were the jeans I was telling you about, the jeggings that are really stretchy and comfortable from Old Navy and they're super cute. You can see them, they're just plain black, like nothing to them, just stretchy, plain black, really flattering jeans on, fake jeans. And then I have just some Adidas little tinnies here. I love these, they need to clean. Derek was like, can I clean the white part of your tennis shoes? I was like, babe, they've been through adventures. All right, so this is outfit number three. Let me show you without this jacket. Okay, so what I like to do when I don't have the jacket is just kind of pull up the one side. I just think that makes it more fashion so this is it without the jacket it would also be cute with my chucks even my little uh, loafers that i was talking about with that last outfit i'm going to try on or i think the fifth outfit i'm going to try on but 
This is just an easy outfit. Just like, I feel like this is probably one I'll wear the very most because this tee is life. I wish you all, I wish you could feel this through the camera. It is the softest thing in the world. But yeah, super cute. Okay, this next outfit is not the cheapest of outfits, but these are staples. And I feel like if you're only going to wear six outfits, really, then you want to love them, you know. So these I got for Christmas. These are my Lululemon joggers. I'm obsessed with them. They are so soft, so comfortable. Honestly, I wear these out like maybe a good three or four days before I give them a good wash. I'm obsessed with these. They're super cute, super flattering. Um, joggers were hard for me to find because I was kind of self-conscious about them and my legs, but I adore these. And then this top, which I really like, and I know this isn't the like springiest top, but I thought I could use some of my workout little tanks and stuff to make this more of an athletic wear and put like a jean jacket or something with it. But this is a Lululemon top. It's really flattering too. It's long in the back, shorter in the front. I like to tuck in the front with the jogger so it makes it more, I don't know. I guess it's cute both ways. But this is a really comfortable top. Um, again, this is higher dollar stuff. But I think you could find some like affordable stuff like this at even like an Old Navy or a TJ Maxx or something like that to kind of replicate this outfit for sure. So I love this outfit. This is just like a comfy casual. Like if I work all day in a coffee shop or something and just want to be like more comfortable, this is the perfect go-to outfit. I know I'll wear this a ton. I just got some white chucks with it. Um, but yeah, I love this. I think you could, I could wear my Adidas little gray tinnies with it too or anything like that. But outfit number four, comfy, casual, cute. We're doing good guys, we're doing good. Okay friends, outfit number, what is this, five. This is outfit number five, springy colors. I've got some floral on, just some lighter wash jeans. The little loafers from Old Navy that I love, they're super comfortable by the way. And um, this little jacket, um, when I take it off, I'll let you all know where this jacket's from. I love this jacket. I think I could throw it over a lot of the other outfits, even like that yellow dress or the jean with the little black tank would be really cute with this over it too. Um, super comfortable, it's a little bit warmer. Yeah, I like this a lot. Let me show you this shirt without the jacket because it's a really cute shirt. Okay, so for this jacket, first of all, it's just got a lot going on, so it's cute and I don't know, I just love this, the way it fits. I don't know where I got it, I can't remember, but this is the brand, it's Max Jeans and I have a size medium in it. So, super cute. But these jeans are Levi 721s. These are probably my best fitting jeans that I've ever really owned. They're just really, really cute. I don't know why, but the reason why, the only thing I have wrong with these jeans, I love the way they fit, but if they had a little more stretch to them, I would be obsessed with them and never take them off. But because they don't have a ton of stretch, um, they're, that's just the only thing wrong with them. But I just love the way they fit. They're really cute. But anyways, this shirt is so cute. Look how it's got that big slit up the side, which I think is really flattering. So it's long in the front and long in the back. So it covers your butt and everything. It's just really cute up top too. And the, just the way it lays, it's like this silky, stretchy material. I love it. This is from, for all my hometown folks from Georgetown, this is from a shop called Adore Bells in Georgetown. Um, but yeah, that's where it's from. It's from a little boutique. Other than that, I don't really know where you'd get it, but it's so cute. Very springy, so I thought it was a perfect little outfit to put together. Outfit number five is done. Okay, so before I take this off, because I know it's not going to be one of my six main outfits, it is super cute. Little um, romper. Super cute, but there's a couple of things that like are going to bug me about it. Like this top piece, I don't know if you can see it. It keeps coming out like that. I think I could go a size down in it because if this were tighter around the waist, it wouldn't fall like that. You know what I mean? But I don't know if I'm going to totally get rid of it. I might put it in that closet with all the other, I don't know, maybe springy clothes because it's just a really cute little romper. But I don't think it's going to be my in my capsule wardrobe overall so I'll probably it, it'll probably be one of those things that I don't end up wearing but I don't know you might see it on insta one day <laughs> okay so I went kind of completely casual again just because I know 
majority of the time I'm going to wear casual. And if I want to dress it up some, like for church or whatever, I can wear that little yellow dress or honestly, that little floral shirt and jeans and stuff like that is kind of like more dressy for me. Don't make fun. But I like these jeans a lot. They're from Altered State. Can you see them? Uh, focus. But yeah, you can kind of see them. The light's really bright. They're like the a really light, light denim. And they're a little more holy and they're a little more lax and they're a little bit more boyfriendy cut. Um, really cute though on... I had to have an outfit with these. Like, I wear these so much. Who am I kidding to think I wouldn't wear them all the time? Um, so, I've got this, like, comfy little airy cardigan. It's just really baggy. Really cute. Um, just, like, a big knitted wool, light gray sweater over top of it. And then I put this dark gray. This is so cute. The brand's Jolie. Um, I think you can order this online. Again, it's got that slit. It's long in the back. It's tight in the arms, which I love. Hold on, this one needs to be pulled down from the sweater. Me. <clears throat> but yeah, it's tight in the arms, which I think is flattering on a shirt. When it's flowy, it gives it like a fitted look and not like you're wearing like an oversized shirt that doesn't fit you. You know what I'm saying? So I love this little outfit. Super simple. And guys, that is outfit number six. Oh my gosh. I've literally these six outfits. These, this was like, I couldn't decide if I wanted it in one and also this in that dress I loved on, but I'm just, I don't know if it's cause I'm so pale right now, but I just can't, <laughs> can't wear it yet. <clears throat> so those are going to be put away and that's it right there Bing. in the outfit I have on. What the heck? <laughs> Let's see how this goes. the other clothes it was like like you saw like 20 something things probably plus those other little things that I just showed you in my other closet away hanging up just for like just in case if I want to go to and grab if I'm like really don't if I cannot live with just like these six outfits and I get completely sick of them because I don't know I've never tried anything like this like I really want to see if I cannot need that much crap <laughs> pretty much so I'm gonna put those away and if I don't use them for like this season of spring then I know I don't need them and I can include them in that um, yard sale later in the spring. And then I would have like these main six outfits. Plus like I showed you earlier, I have my winter, literally this was my winter things to this sweater. I have my winter things here and then my like dressy dresses for like wedding or a funeral or anything fancy like that that's kind of out of the ordinary day in the life kind of thing. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, this is what we're left with. Here are the six outfits. Here are a million extra hangers. And then this is the winter and the um, just little t-shirts that I have that I love that are like Kentucky t-shirts and then the nice outfits. And then right here I have all six of the shoes to go with the six outfits. This is amazing. I already feel so cleansed, which is like less option. Bye bye clothes. These are the ones that are gonna go into the garage sale. So we can say bye to those, that's exciting. Okay, I got everything cleaned up. It's been like two and a half, almost three hours now. But like I said a second ago, I already feel like without the options, it's just gonna be so nice to have those six outfits. And this is what I'm gonna do, I was just telling Derek. I was like, okay, so I had pinned before this some outfits that I just absolutely loved and just admired and thought they were just so cute and fashionable and comfy looking and just the perfect for a capsule wardrobe. I tried to do my very best to create those outfits from what I already had instead of going and just spending unnecessary money when I already have a lot of clothes. Um, so I'm gonna wear these out for the next few weeks and see if these are ones that I just like are really good staples that I really like. And if not, I'm gonna go back to that Pinterest board and maybe 
replace them with something that I can buy that's reasonable, but also like nice and good staple pieces of clothing that I can add to the capsule wardrobe and kind of get one of those out if one of them is one that I just don't wear a ton. So that's kind of my game plan. Um, I will, I'm going to post some of this to my Instagram story as well. So, and then keep you all updated with it. And as I go throughout the seasons, cause I kind of want to do this for the summer for a capsule wardrobe in the summer as well. So this will get me through the next three months or so throughout the spring. And I'm just really excited. It feels really good to just not have stuff anymore. Um, and I'm kind of interested to see too. I have in that other closet in my guest bedroom, I put the other like 20 pieces of clothing that I have that were my maybes and I was like, I don't know, I don't think I can just give those away right now or um, put those in a garage sale. So I'll be interested to see if I really go in there to wear any of those or if I actually stick to this six pieces of clothing throughout the spring. So stay tuned, follow my Instagram if you don't, it's Trainer Tanner. This was really fun to do and I'm really glad that I did it and I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know if you did, comment down below. Um, like I said, if you'd be interested in me doing something like this for my athletic wear, which I think would be really hard because I wear workout clothes a lot and I work out, you know, five, six days a week and everything. So I don't know. I think I could do it though, for sure. I think I could do it. So if that's something you're interested in me doing as far as my workout clothes and athletic wear and all that kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if this inspired you to create a capsule wardrobe and cleanse your life and just get rid of stuff and simplify your life and not have as many options. Um, but just remember, if you do it, the goal is to feel comfortable and confident in all your outfits so that when you do put them on, you know you're always going to feel really good. So that's kind of what I had in my mind throughout that whole time because especially like with the dress, like... I like some shorter dresses above the knee, but I don't always feel super comfortable in, in them and they're not, I don't know, you know what I mean? So I picked a dress that was more modest and longer and really cute and springy and I felt really good in and I know I'm gonna wear that one more. So just think of stuff like that when you're creating it for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, the next video that will be on my YouTube will be back to the Let's Talk Freedom talk show. If you haven't been following that, I have a whole playlist that I've started for that talk show and I'm just really loving doing that for you all. So if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video with me again. I will see you guys in the next, ep in the next episode. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.